Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Red World. Today, excited to be checking out Mezco's Conan the Barbarian. Let's do it. And here we have Conan the Barbarian out of the box and on display and I am happy to finally open this guy up. I actually think I got him around the time Elden Ring um, came out, which is a game on the PlayStation. Uh, probably about a year ago now. And obviously they've released a Conqueror version of Conan um, as of these last few months. So I figured actually it's probably a good time I get this guy out and do a review on him. The figure itself is incredibly detailed and uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize how much detailing had actually gone into the, the body alone. Yeah, it's very grimy, very yucky. Uh, he looks like he's been through a lot of wars, battles, and uh, he's got a lot of scrapes on him. And as you can see on his back there, he's pretty scarred up. But just incredible detailing. He looks incredible. As I was saying in my Predator review, my dad was a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger, so Conan the Barbarian was a movie that we watched on the regular growing up. So uh, I do have a bit of a personal connection with this dude. Same with Predator. It uh, brings back those nostalgia vibes for sure. Um, yeah, all right guys. It's a quick look at the body out of the box. I'm gonna get some accessories on him and uh, change the look up and let you know some of my thoughts. All right, stay tuned. And just take a look at the accessories that come with Conan. We've got a alternative loincloth down there. And we've got a display stand that goes along this display base, which is uh, quite cool. Very nice artwork there from Frank Frenzetta. You've got an alternative head sculpt with that angry, screaming face. Such great detailing there. And you can see he's got some earrings as well. And then we've got a broadsword and a sheath. Or classic Conan sword there. Very nice detailing on the sheath itself. And then we've got a Smiter? I don't know. <laughs> Smiter? I don't know how to pronounce the name of that sword. Starts with an S and it's curved blade. Very nice there, detailing. And then we have a little dagger. Which has a nice red help. Curved blade. And a little sheath for that too. A little shield, which just attaches to his, uh, his wrists there and you can hold onto it and grip it. And we've got a uh, little bandolier or belt um, to be able to hold his axe. A rather nice looking axe here. Cool detailing on the blade itself. We've got another cuff link and a bunch of hands and some hooks to uh, hook up the swords, I believe. And here's a close look at the longer loincloth, which uh, you just attach. It's elastic, so it can just fit around the bottom of the figure. Likewise, you can just remove that one by pulling it down. However, uh, I'm not going to use this one. Um, I'd much prefer the smaller loincloth for Conan. Uh, but very cool detail here on the chains. And uh, yeah, there's some stitching at the back. So a cool little add-in. Nonetheless, regardless of me not using it, um, good to have the extra option. We've got one extra one down there. He's also got a, a cape or a robe that he can put on to keep him warm. There's a picture of that there. Alright guys. So let's get this guy posed up and move on with the review. And just taking a close look at the articulation for Conan, we do have a head on a ball joint. However, the hair does get in the way. It is restricted here in the back. The other head sculpt can get to the side a little bit easier than this one. Uh, the hair's a little bit more swept back. But uh, yeah, as for the head movement, it's as much as you're going to get. As for the arms, they can pop out very nicely. As you can see, I've already got him sword in hand. He's ready to go. So very nice arm movement here. He'll go right around, unrestricted. We don't have a double joint here in the elbow. It is a little bit more restricted than normal, which is unfortunate. However, you've got very decent wrist movement here so they can pop right around. As you can see with the sword in hand, you can get it all the way into the middle of his body, which is very nice. So you can potentially even have him holding a sword of two hands, which is always a good touch, especially for these sort of sword and sorcery characters. As for the torso, we've got very good range of movement here. Well, you don't want to put the head off. Forward this far, back that far, and very nice tilt and swivel here. His legs, he can do the splits. So very cool, the double joint here in the knee. And he does have some quite nice ankle pivot and uh, a little bit of boot swivel on top of the boot here. Yeah. yeah, no real complaints other than the head and the double jointed elbows. But hey, what are you gonna do? All right, let's move on. 
And for a bit of a size comparison for our Mezco Conan, we've got him alongside some other keynote Mezco figures, Rumble Society, Doc Nocturnal, Atticus Doom, Nosferatu, Symphony, Symphony, always get that word, messed up the Symphony of Horror Edition, and then we've got a Ku model werewolf. We've got the wolves that come with the Nosferatu, <laughs> the Revoltech, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and of course our 1000 Toys Hellboy. So, in terms of scaling, uh, Nosferatu is not on a base, but he is a taller figure overall. He looks quite cool. Conan's a lot bigger than Atticus Doom and, and Doc Nocturnal, who are smaller figures. So I think in terms of scaling, it's pretty stocky, it's pretty good. Uh, let's check out Mezco Superman up there just to have a look. Yeah, so he's even bigger than, taller than Superman. For reference, so. It's a good pass in terms of scaling from me. He just looks so cool. And I do dig the wolves around him. Very fitting for our sword and sorcery. Original gangster. Conan the Barbarian. And bring it in for some final thoughts for Conan the Barbarian. And I can see why this is probably one of Mezco's most popular figures to date. And incredibly hard to find. Now, uh, they have updated this figure with the Conan the Conqueror, which is essentially the same figure uh, with a few extra goodies and weapons. And also, I'm pretty sure he comes with a awesome looking helmet. However, for a straight up Conan the Barbarian, the OG look, you know, what I think of when I'm thinking of Conan the Barbarian, this guy just absolutely nails it. So super happy to have this version of Conan in my collection. I probably won't be going for the Conqueror. However, I will be going for King Conan when he does finally get released just because he looks badass. All right, guys, real quick video. This is a bit of a throwback. Been reviewed by a lot of different people on YouTube. I just wanted to chime in with some of my thoughts. I'll uh, leave it there. Thank you for watching the review. And um, yeah, let me know. What do you think of Conan the Barbarian? Are you going to be getting the new Conan the Conqueror? What are your thoughts between the two? What's your favorite? Keen to hear and uh, sound off in the comments below. All right, guys, take care. Peace.